When your baby can't breathe, it's, it's very distressing. For the first four or five years of his life, he spent um, a lot of time in hospital, weeks at a time. They had to give him a lot of needles when he was in intensive care, and that was very distressing when they had to hold him down. Feels like a sword got gone through my throat, or like a knife or something, and, and I can't breathe. Incredibly distressing and upsetting. We have an anti-inflammatory protein called APE2 that we believe is a game changer for the treatment of asthma. It's essentially, uh, in the lab anyway, appears to be a cure. There are a category of parasites like hookworms that usually stay within their host for a long period of time. So it's in their own interest to take care of the host. There are many researchers that, um, just like us, are interested in uh, parasites and how they interact with humans and the immune system. I wanted to um, look further uh, to see if there was something that could be used for the treatment of asthma. This compound that we've isolated is a molecule that we've called anti-inflammatory protein 2. It's a protein that's produced by the worm uh, when it's within the host. The protein A2 goes into a lymph node that's called mesenteric lymph nodes and uh, they're located in the small intestine. And these mesenteric lymph nodes possess a very unique cell type, it is what we call a dendritic cell. It absorbs the protein and that's where it changes its function all of a sudden to become this uh, regulatory cell factory. All these regulatory cells that are essential to manage our immune system to make sure it doesn't go on to overdrive inappropriately, that's what APE2 does we could uh, envision that all these people taking corticosteroids on a regular basis, uh, bronchodilators, um, they could be weaned off over time because of uh, what APE2 is doing and live a life free of medication. That's a game changer. Our goal right now is uh, to get ready for a phase one clinical trial. We want to bring this to the clinic. We want to, build, to bring this to patients. This takes a lot of money. We have to play the lottery every year to see if we might get some money to make this project move forward. The fact that they're working towards a cure um, is amazing, it's wonderful, and I do hope that they are able to get the funding to, to help the researchers. I have never come across a treatment that was so long-lasting and so disease-modifying. I think it really could change the life of millions of people and children in particular. My dream is to bring this uh, to the public. I really would love people to embark in this journey with me to make the trip a bit shorter and to change lives of people that much quicker. Please give, yeah. It would, it would be, you know, life-changing for our family and for many others.